Joel 3 verse 10. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. That, that's what's happening. You got Pakistan, Iran, you, you got these gooks, all these countries that America, you got Argentina, Cuba, all these countries that America once never gave two shits about or once never feared, all right? Now they flexing on America, man. They're not just flexing on America, but these crackers is actually scared, man. All right? And that's why they try to, that's why they try to do that, that little deal with Cuba. But that shit's not gonna work, all right? Cause them Cubans, they gonna turn on America anyways, man. They still got anger from shit you did to them, man. So you, you think just, oh uh, man, now, now we can, now we gonna bring American banks to Cuba, all right? We gonna lift this embargo. Like, they don't give two shits about that. You just put money in their pocket, like, like this scripture say right here, so they could invest in them ICBMs, man. You just helping Cuba out, man. So Cuba could get more nukes and more ICBMs, man. More than the Russians gave them, man. Cause Russia, Russia's dealing with Cuba, man. Russia dealing with Russia always sending sending spy planes, fucking submarines to, to Cuba, man. Navy ships to, to drop off to drop off uh, armory, man. They're not they're not just meeting up to have dinner, man. Go ahead. Verse 11, assemble yourselves and come all you heathen. Get and gather yourselves together round about. Yeah, they're gonna assemble themselves in the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Where the last battle gonna, gonna take place at, man. It's gonna have all nations there in the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Just like they showed you in the movie Independence Day. You had all these armies. Once upon a time, there was all enemies. But when the so-called aliens <laughs> UFOs came, all these armies joined hand in hand together to try to destroy the, the mothership, man. And that's what I'm speaking about Joel. That's that's what they gonna do in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. All these armies and royal peace. All these armies, navies, militaries, they gonna all join hand in hand. They gonna say fuck our beef, fuck our squad, man. We got we got we got preserve. We gotta preserve the human race, man. It's an alien invasion. Ain't no goddamn well, it's not no fucking alien invasion, man. They know exactly what them ships is, man. But they still gonna tell you stupid ass people, it's an alien invasion, man. You you people gonna see a so-called Negro, man, on, 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 the, on the father ship. You people still gonna say it's an alien, man. When a week ago, you niggas were saying the alien looked like E.T. Exactly. Yeah. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathens, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause the mighty ones to come down, O oh Lord. This is Isaiah 13 and 1. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amaz did see, lift thee up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake their hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones, I have also called my mighty ones for mine anger, even them which rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord of hosts mustereth up the host of the battle. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. Yeah, these, these nukes gonna come from, from... Hey, Samak, put the nukes up. They gonna come from various countries, man. It's gonna seem like it came from the, the, the other side of the earth, man. From Hawaii, from Japan, from China, from, from everywhere, man. And they gonna be all aimed at America, man. Other places too, like Israel. Israel gotta get destroyed, man. Cause before we, before we can step in that land, before we can step in that land, that place gotta be cleansed, man. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Yeah, the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction. That's what all the brothers always say. The Lord's coming back to destroy, man. Word. The Lord said it millions of times. He come back to kill you niggas, man. But you niggas don't understand that. When we say that, we going off. Oh, you speaking evil. 
How we speaking evil? That's what the Bible says, man. Yeah, it says it says lift me up the voice. I lift up the, the banner on the, banner. the high mountain. Yeah, on the high mountain. We giving you people warning, man. Because you people you people are stupid. <laughs> and we got all type of banners. We got signs for you niggas. We got we got martial law signs. We got the ICBM. We got all type of signs to catch your attention, man. If our voice don't catch your attention, if our garments don't catch your attention, these signs damn sure should catch your attention, man. And we still don't get you niggas attention. Are you niggas gonna stop right there? Hey, I, uh, how much for the for a fucking tour? When you niggas stay in Miami, you niggas live in Miami. You niggas fucking stupid, man. Day in and day out, these people come to the same place, do the same stupid shit, man. We out here, we we yelling, screaming. Nobody come, nobody stops to ask a question though. It's all good. When the Lord, when the Lord is terrorizing you motherfuckers, man. Do not dare look for us, man. Lord would the Lord put the spirit on us that we fucking destroy you niggas, man, that day. You come ask for help now? You come ask for help when you're back on the wall. That's how a nigga is, man. He never want help. He never want to call the Lord to his fucking light bill. To his fucking light bill can't be paid. Till he about to get foreclosed on. Till he locked up. Till he's cracking, say you're facing life. All right? That's what's going to happen when martial law comes. Uh, these FEMA troops come, famine come. That's what's gonna happen. Then you niggas back gonna be on the wall. Then y'all gonna be looking for our top of hell. Y'all gonna come back looking for us, and we gonna tell you niggas, fuck you, man. Straight up. And they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be as in pain as a woman that travaileth. Yeah, of course they gonna be afraid, man. Cause the shit the Lord gonna do, man. The Lord gonna do some dreadful things to you motherfuckers, man. The Lord is the king of terrorists, man. Bin Laden ain't got shit on the Lord, man. The Lord is the biggest terrorist you gonna ever meet, man. <laughs> they shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord coming. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger. Cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, man. The Lord is, the Lord is angry, and they said the Lord is gonna be cruel towards you people, man. They said the Lord gonna be, the Lord gonna be kind to you people, because we don't use the word nice up here, man. The Lord is not stupid, all right. They said the Lord gonna be kind to you people, man. They said the Lord gonna be cruel to you people, man. The Lord gonna do some horrible things to you people, man. And it's, it's, it's well deserved. Because bro, brothers, all, all the brothers up here is young, man. You even got brothers behind the camera that take out their Saturdays, man, to come out here, man. Listen, Lord willing, brothers like that, the Lord redeemed, man. But you other stupid niggas that's good for nothing or want to be a cheerleaders behind, 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 fucking, behind fucking closed doors and shit, the Lord not dealing with you, man. The Lord not dealing with faggots and pussies, man. The Lord dealing with men, and men have balls, man. So what if the feds taking pictures? Who gives a fuck? Word. Your ass been on the kill list, man. Ever since your ass came on the slave ships, man. You been on the fucking red list, man. You niggas acting like the red list on you. Your ass been on the fucking red list, man. All you gotta do is look up the King Alpha plan. Project Mikito. Been, you've been a target of for destruction. You niggas, you, you speak, you went back. Featherheads, you niggas, man. They've been a target since Isaac died, man. They've been, they've been targeted since uh, Esau. Esau been waiting. <laughs> Esau waited till his father died to finally go and chase after his brother, man. It's nothing new, man. Since Cain. Since Cain, bro. You niggas been the target, man. You niggas been had the X on your head, man. But, but, but y'all don't understand that. Y'all think everything is peachy. You niggas don't realize y'all been on the red list, man. The other day, so, some Jake just got, just got his ass hitting in Alabama, man. Mississippi, Salaki, and Mississippi, man. And, and you niggas still think, oh man, the white man's my friend. The cool ass fucking sheriff came. Uh, let, let's, let's just hope, uh, it's 2015, let's just hope. This had nothing to do with race. What What the fuck you mean, man? You live in Mississippi, man. You know damn well that shit has something to do with race, man. 
But yeah, oh, let, let, let's just hope I have nothing to do with race. You see, you niggas been on the red list, man. So it don't hurt you to come out here and, and listen, man, and try to save your ass. The brothers that come out here, the Lord willing, the brothers, the Lord do save them, man. Because that shows faith, man. Go ahead, yes, sir, say? Go ahead. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and with fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. To lay the land desolate, all right? To destroy this land, all right? When the Lord is done with America, America is going to be the biggest desert on the planet Earth, man. Bigger than the Sahara Desert, man. Go ahead. And he, sh and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it, man. And that's talking about two thirds, all right? Because the only people that can sin is the, is the nation of Israel because the laws is only given to them, man. The Lord don't give two shits about no heathen, man. You heathens are going to get put to death anyways, man. You heathens was created for us, man. Because a king don't work, man. So we need slaves, all right? That's what you heathens was created for, man. To work and to be slaves, man. You heathens are art entertainment, all right? And the brothers up here, we already in that spirit, man. That's why we laugh at you clown ass gooks, man. In the kingdom, gooks is gooks are just gonna be plain old entertainment, man. When I wake up, I just wanna see a gook next to my bed, just with that stupid ass face, man. <laughs> just make your malak laugh, man. If you don't, you get put to death, man. Right, they're gonna be all just court just with their hats, with their bells, yeah, nigga, yeah. <laughs> They ain't gotta try hard to look retarded. No. You gooks naturally look retarded, man. <laughs> Isaiah 47, verse 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Yeah, the Lord said he will not meet you as a man, all right? Because the last time he came as a man, you niggas put him on the cross, you niggas crucified him, put a crown of thorn on his head, you niggas spit and piss on him, man. So this time he coming back as an angelic being, man. Word. Well, you niggas can't lay a finger on him, man. Y'all can't even think about killing him, man. Because the last time he did, what y'all did? Y'all got y'all feelings and y'all killed him, man. Because the truth hurts. So you niggas got y'all feelings, man. Brothers up here get rebuked. We can rebuke and we build off that, man. We learn from that and we build off that, man. That's like building, mu building muscle. First, you gotta break down that muscle, man, to get that shit bigger and stronger, man. But the Lord came back, he rebuked you niggas, and y'all got y'all finished, so y'all killed them, man. So this time he said, I ain't coming back as a man. I'm coming back as, a, as an angelic force so I can kill you niggas, man. This time y'all not gonna lay a finger on me. Go ahead. This is Matthew 10 and 13. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I come to to send peace on earth. Yeah, that that's that that's the book of Matthews. <laughs> that's the people that you people call Jesus. All right, we know him as Yahweh Shai. He said, "Think not. Don't you dare think I came to earth to give you niggas dandelions and cotton candy and shit. All right, to kiss you sluts on the cheeks. All right." The Lord said, "Don't don't you dare think that, man. I got I got a I got an ulterior motive, man." If I can say something, that's in the gospel. That's in the good news, man. So that's part of the gospel. Think not, I am come to send peace on earth. <laughs> I came not to bring peace. Go ahead, read it, man. I came not to send peace, but a sword. But a sword, all right. The Lord said, I ain't come to to kiss you niggas and to shake your hands and to say, all right, I forgive and forget you. Let's all be friends. The Lord said, I came back to destroy you people, man. 
when the Lord speaks, when the Lord speaks, he speaks about nothing but destruction, man. And when his men speak about him, they speak about the destruction he's going to do, man. And the men speak about the fear that's upon them, man. All the men of the Lord were scared, man. When, when, the Lord, when the Lord gave them the visions, man. They, they wasn't happy. They, they wasn't all uh, kumbaya, oh, happy day and shit. They was grieving, man. But that's the spirit you're supposed to be in. Even if you up here doing this work, you're still supposed to be in the spirit of grieving, man. Thinking, man, any day the Lord can kill me, man. Any day the Lord can take this truth away from me, man. So we've seen that happen to many brothers, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're supposed to have that contrite spirit, man, because you're supposed to know that you've been wicked. You, and you de you deserve death, and you don't know if you're gonna make it out of here. That's right. So you're supposed to be brokenhearted, man, up until we see our glory, man. So there's no reason for you to be walking around proud and, and bragging about this or that or whatever, man. 